I don't want to get angry. Mm -mm. Who does? But I sometimes feel I owe it to you. Yeah, I, you know what? I deserve it. <laughs> a faculty member had included in their global survey of art history a session on Islamic on Islamic art, which offered an optional visual analysis and discussion of a famous medieval Islamic painting of the Prophet Muhammad. Mm. A student complained about the image's oh. inclusion in the course and led efforts to press administrators for a response. After that, the university's associate, ready for this one? The university's associate vice president of inclusive excellence oh, dear God. Wow. declared the classroom exercise undeniably inconsiderate, disrespectful, and Islamophobic. Because apparently you're not supposed to draw pictures of Muhammad. I don't know why. Neither before nor after these declarations was the faculty member given a public platform or forum to explain the classroom lecture and activity. To fill the gap on December 6, an essay written by a Hamlin professor of religion who teaches Islam, explaining the incident along with the historical context and aesthetic value of Islamic images of Muhammad was published on the Oracle's website. The essay was taken down two days later. One day after that, Hamlin's president and associate vice president for inclusive excellence okay. <laughs> sent a message to all employees stating that respect for the observant Muslim students in that classroom should have superseded academic freedom. Wow. Well, this has totally failed academy. I mean, it doesn't even, shouldn't right, even exist. Right, right. The essay censorship and the subsequent email by two top university administrators were raised serious concerns about freedom of speech and academic freedom at the university. The instructor was released from their spring term teaching. So maybe it's a teacher that has pronouns. Yeah. Him, her, her, her. Well, they're eating their own. <laughs> yes. I mean, you can't even read a paragraph here without... The instructor was released from their spring term teaching at Hamlin and its associate vice president for inclusive excellence went on the record as stating it was decided it was best that this faculty member was no longer part of the Hamlin community. In other words, an instructor who showed an Islamic painting during a visual analysis, a basic exercise for art history training, was publicly impugned for hate speech and dismissed thereafter without access to due process. The Oracle, that must be Hamlin's newspaper, provides more context in a process that looks more like Pakistan than America. Hmm. Along with the involvement of the Muslim Students Association, an Islamist campus hate group whose chapters have been linked to the Muslim Brotherhood and anti-Semitic acts, the Oracle has since learned that the event in question occurred on October 6, when a professor shared two depictions of the Prophet Muhammad <coughs> in class, <coughs> excuse me, while discussing Islamic art. One was a 14th century depiction of the Prophet, and the other was a 16th century depiction of the Prophet with veil and halo. Within Islam, I'm sorry, within Islam, there are varying beliefs regarding whether the representation of the Prophet Muhammad is acceptable. The majority of those practicing Islam today believe it is forbidden to see and create representations of Prophet Muhammad. I'm not, this is 16 pages long. I'm not right. going to read it. The hell with this. Hmm. 